Well, we have done uh, this already, so for a quick uh, uh, revision, I thought we will revise uh, a bit because we have done a lot of flavors of this uh, energy resource management. So we will do a revision for a while. So first of all, today we will uh, revise conventional and non-conventional sources of energy. Uh, we all know that energy broadly, uh, you know, it means the capacity of something. Uh, a person, an animal, or a physical system to do work and to produce a change. So that is actually energy. So what what is energy? Energy basically means the capacity of you know something, a person, an animal, or a physical system to do work and produce a change. And when we talk about in the science, basically uh, anything that is producing a, a change in a physical system or has a potential to produce a change uh, has energy. And basically, we have two sources of energy, conventional sources of energy and non-conventional sources of energy. Conventional sources of energy are uh, the sources of energy which we are basically using for a past long time, like wood uh, we are using for a fire, uh, like coal, petroleum, natural gases and other things also. And if we talk about the non-conventional sources of energy, uh, basically we have solar energy, wind energy, biomass energy, uh, ocean energy. Uh, in the ocean energy, basically the tidal wave and the ocean thermal energy is concerned, then geothermal energy and nuclear energy. And uh, some uh, other energy resources are like sun, wind, uh, water, wood, biomass, etc. And the non-renewable are coal, petroleum and natural gas. The fossil fuels which we are using, you know, as the sources of energy are basically is a sort of concern, you can say, and uh, because it takes a lot of time to be closer than we are consuming it uh, on a very fast rate. These fossil fuels are the sources, so uh, coal, even natural gas, oil are examples of these kind has come that we will uh, shift our you know concern from conventional to the uh, non-conventional resources of energy basically traditional energy resources are coal is there natural gas is there oil is there we are using coal uh, coal as you know for generating fire uh, these days also even these days also even we are using coal and wood for generating you know uh, coal is basically used in the thermal power is being you know used in uh, villages for a fire and uh, these coal natural gas oils and other byproducts which we get from fossil fuels uh, they are being formed from you know a decaying plant and animal material over hundred of and thousand to millions of years ago and most of these you know sources are uh, burned to produce energy so the concern is that it right, takes a lot of time for this uh, coal natural gas and other oils like diesel, petroleum are there uh, in deep down earth's uh, surface that it takes a lot of year to be get formed and uh, if we will use at such a fast pace and one time, one day will come that they will vanish basically. And uh, like uh, what are the disadvantages also of using these uh, fossil fuels, burning of these fossil fuels, uh, they release gases and harmful particles which causes air pollution. And it also releases oxides of sulfur and nitrogen, like sulfur dioxide, trioxide, and various uh, oxides of nitrogen, uh, like dioxide, trioxide, and 2O5, etc., which can even cause uh, acid rain and harmful for the living organism, affects you know, soil, water, and causes damage to the building, and also the corrosion of metals, etc. So these are some of the disadvantages. Even the you know burning of the fossil fuels, it releases a large amount of CO2 gas and uh, not even releasing the carbon dioxide gas, it also increases the temperature of the atmosphere and it causes global warming. So these are, you know, some of the disadvantages of, uh, you know, using these conventional uh, sources of energy. And uh, the, as I already said that the time has come that we should uh, shift our concern of energy like tidal power is there. Wind energy is there, geothermal energy is there, etc. So, and what are the effects uh, of these fossil fuels? You know, being carbon-based and natural gas, oil, and coal, 
they store carbon as potential energy and they release it when it is burned so the government is even you know concerned about this greenhouse emission gases and it is a um, one of the major and causing lot of pollution so you know about the uh, seriousness of pollution in delhi gurgaon and metro cities and how it is you know uh, affecting and we need to you know concern about even the oxides which they are producing like sulfur oxides of sulfur nitrogen even mercury emissions are there and they have disastrous you know environmental and health consequences and diseases you know like cancer and other uh, you know these are becoming very common due to uh, these reasons because we are you know concerned about the environment and uh, if we talk about the basic uh, difference between the conventional and the non conventional resources our conventional resources are one that are commonly used and the non conventional is the one um, that do uh, work but not are commonly used okay. we already discussed about these uh, you know non conventional sources of energy we had uh, read in detail about solar well geothermal energy and even we are generating energy from the biomass and the waste material and um, they uh, they may be uh, not generating so much of power you know but they are eco friendly and uh, they can be used in rural and even remote areas basically so these non conventional energy resources are ecological safe uh, like solar energy uh, we are government is giving a lot of stress on using these solar panels and using solar energy and uh, wind energy also wind energy can be harnessed in uh, you know coastal areas basically and uh, biomass energy we can use it from our green waste and the uh, ocean energy further in the areas where ocean is there and coastal areas basically same wave energy tidal energy are effective only in the you know um, equator and nuclear energy is, can also be you know Uh, seen as a potential for the future uh, till date it is very costly and we are not able to you know harness a lot of nuclear energy and uh, non renewable we are you know using coal petroleum and natural gas so 60% we are generating actually energy from these resources so these are you know uh, have have become a matter of concern and we should you know a uh, shift to non -con uh, conventional to the non conventional energy resources much more stress should be there um, for the hydropower